Hey there guitarist, you're welcome here at Spicy Guitar Academy. You are welcome to class today. So today we are going to be learning strumming, how to strum on the guitar. But before we get right into the heart of that, we are going to talk about a few things. Number one, strumming mechanics. Then also we are going to be talking about the right peak grip and um, position on the guitar. Alright, about mechanics, this is basically the motion of your right hand. First of all, let's learn how to place our hands right on the acoustic guitar. This is not what you want to do. Somewhere around your forearm here, you're going to find a way to anchor it right here on the body of the guitar. Such that your forearm is placed on the body of the guitar here so as to ease your shoulder. Because if you place your hands like this, say you want to strum and you place them like this, if your forearm not resting on this part, you're going to be stressing your shoulder and that's going to hurt you over time. Alright, so first thing first, then this is the angle. You want to make it in such a way that there is a motion, easy motion. Alright, alright. Alright, with your guitar properly carried, see here. Then about the pick, how properly should you hold your pick for strumming? So this is a fine way of holding your guitar pick for strumming. As opposed to curving my index finger like this, you know? I have taught you that when you're picking, you curve your fingers and you put the pick like that. You know, but for strumming, your index finger don't really have to be so bent. It could just be a bit like, almost like a sphere or something. So this is not so straight but a bit bent. Then see how the pick intercepts the index finger. See the edge of the pick here sort of double crosses the edge of my nails. So something like this. So that means the this pick doesn't quite overlap on the nails, on the index finger nails. And it's not so far away from it like this. Somehow like this. If I were picking, this would have been a bit more slanted. So you see double. So to strum to make it fair, and um, you should endeavor to spread your fingers, fly them. You don't want to hold them like this. No. The pick don't don't really have to be flat on the string, just slightly slanted. Yeah, but. And I recommend use light pick, light gauge of pick, the lightest you can find. It helps with the swing, the sweeping down and up. If you're using the hard pick, it becomes kind of hard to sweep, to sweep it up. You know, so light one is good for you. Until you know how to maneuver with even a strong pick. pressure when you hold your strumming pick all right you don't want to if you if you put more pressure the guitar your strumming is going to sound hard it's going to sound harsh it's going to sound like <laughs> so what i just did hard holding the pick hard and holding it soft hard all right so just enough pressure 
to keep the peak in position. Uh, and you know, I say, uh, if you're new to strumming, you're going to have situations where your peak is twisting around like that. Just take your time at that. Over time, you're going to get a good handle um, of it. Alright, the other thing, the placement of your peak on the guitar string. You don't lay it flat like this. Your string, you don't lay the pick flat like this, but you it's a bit slanted at an angle of 25 degrees, 30, 20 to 30 degrees, so a bit slanted. This helps for easy sweep of the pick across the string. Now, this is the right way of doing it, but um, if I lay it flat, it's gonna. Coming up, coming up, it, you're going to face friction, but when it's slanted. Alright, so with all this, let's get into strumming. So, um, guitar strumming is grouped under the rhythm section of any music arrangement. So, to learn strumming, we are going to learn reading. Alright, so, and to learn this reading, we are going to take it right from the roots. So we're going to understand bar and beat and see how we can subdivide different beats and um, strum um, that very reading. Alright, so bar. First of all, bar. Bar is a small segment of a music that contains different numbers of beats. And um, the regular music that we have has four beats within the bar. Alright, I hope I don't lost you here. We're getting right into strumming now. Alright, so four beats within the bar. So this beat, what's a beat? Beat is a pulse, you know, it's a pulse in every music. When you hear music and you're nodding, that's the beat. When your heart is pumping, that, <laughs> that's the beat. That's the beat. Alright, so when you hear music and you're nodding, to that beat. So four of that very known one. Two, three, four makes up a bar. These very beats are normally down, just feel it's down. When you nod your head, you nod it down. You don't move it up. No, you nod it down. So beats and um, these beats are called down beat. So representing this down beat with a strum, we're gonna have it down strum right on the beat. So we're gonna call it simple four down beat strum. Simple four down beat strum. So when you hear the music, so before I begin to illustrate it now, I want you to see, I want you to watch my hand and see how I freely strum. So this down beat that was strumming, or down beat, we are going to put rhythm to it, we are going to put chord to it, let's say a C major. How neat mine sound. If you're not holding the pick right, yours could be. That's not what you want. And you want to make sure that you, you stay sync, like stay quantized with the beat. The beat shouldn't be playing beat, 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 and you do it. No. On the beat. beat, 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 beat. Alright. If you're holding your C major chord for this down strum, I want you to strum. All the um, notes that you're holding, don't go strong just string two and one, and you're holding string five, four, three, two, and one. So, if you want to try to get all the notes, remember to hold your pick very light, get it slanted. All right, so what I want you to really do is to make sure that your right hand keeps going, you know, keeps the reading now, like. You can already dance to it. So you lock in on the groove. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to play around with this very um, four beat down strumming. So this is what happens now. We are going to be skipping some, some meals per se. We are going to be skipping some strums. Even though the four beat strumming kicks go in on. So... You know what we're doing now? We're putting the putting the strum on beats one, beat two, beat three, beat four. So now we are going to skip 
bit theory. All right, that means don't be don't be notes, don't be um, don't be sound there. Just skip it. This is what I mean. Beat one, beat two, beat theory is um, omitted. We didn't do anything there. Then we we'll go to beat four. One, two, skip four. One, two, skip four. My right hand keeps circling like this. I'm not doing one, two, three, four. No. Mind you, when I say um, we skip it, I don't mean you uh, play percussive like one, two. No, it's total um, silence. One, two. One, two. Total skipping. All right, and we can even regroup this and uh, put the, um, the the silence on the second beat. So it's gonna be one silence, three, four, one silence, three, four, one. One silence, three, four. One silence, three, four. One silence, three, four. And we could even make um, two beats from the four beats that we have go silent. We could uh, make two and four go silent. So we're going to be strumming only on um, the one and the three. One silence, three silence. One silence, three silence. The main thing here, why I'm giving this to you, is because I want you to be able to shuffle your hand like this irrespective of the strong pattern of the strong groove the rhythm that we're creating but this should be consistent so now we're going to put chord change to what we have the strong that we have and the chords that we're going to be um, changing are, are c and our g c and g i'm going to play them um one bar each when i say one bar i mean four beats for C, then four beat for G. Now the four beat one, two, three, four, then for G, one, two, three, four. All four down beat for C, all four down beat for G. This is gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's see, C, C, then to G, G, G. Could, um, let's begin to regroup it on each of the third beat. Let's put some silence there. So it's gonna be one, two, silence for one, two, silence for one, two, silence for one, two, silence for sorry, one, two, silence. For. All right, guys, this is where all strumming this is where strumming starts from. So you want to begin to play all the songs that you can play with this song. So let's take a song for example. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Alright, so the idea is just the down, 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 down. Until there's a chord change, you go to the next chord. Alright. So guys, we are used to four beat strumming already. So four beat means you're playing four strum within the bar. Um, sometimes it can also be referred to as four note strumming. Yeah, because you're playing four you're doing four downs within the bar. So to do instead of four beats within the bar, we're gonna be doing eight beat within the bar. So it's called six M. Um, it's called eight note strumming. Here we are, eight note strumming guys. So we're making progress. So the idea is to be able to strum eight times within the, within the bar. So the bar is one, two, three, four. What we had was Gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another way of reading the eight note strumming one and two and three and four and 
and the n is represented by the plus sign all right so the bar remains the same a bar is standard one two three four bit makes a bar so now we are um, playing eight notes eight strums within the bar so we have them um, some like one two three four five six seven eight four four is them um, one two three four one two three four five six seven eight so to practicalize this there's something you have been saying but probably you haven't um, given it much thought for four and um, beat this is what we had one two three four and i called it a, an all down strong one down 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 again down 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 but if you observe my right hand you see that it's doing down up down up down up down up yeah because this is the reason why i said you should keep your right hand you know cycling like so if we add the up it becomes one two three four five six seven eight which is one two three four five six seven eight so you see how a four all down um, strumming can um, just become eight two two three four five six seven eight yeah that's it so this is eight um, notes strumming so and um, playing this over your C harvest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get that? Alright, understanding and counting beats. There's how um, um, this is counted. Instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three and four and that's one, two, three, four, five, six. With the up stroke representing the end. Alright, the down stroke represents the beat. Beat 1 and beat 2 and beat 3 and beat 4 and. Alright, so what are we going to do now? Let's um, add some chord change to it. So we're going to have um, A minor to F major to C major to G major to 3. Go A minor one two three four five six seven eight F two three four five six seven eight C one two three four five six seven eight G one two three four five six seven eight. All right, that's what's happening on the left hand A minor F major C major to G. So we count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. We are going to silence some of the strums. So the first one, we are going to silence the beat two and the beat four. One end we are going to play it. Beat two be silenced. Then two end is going to be played. So we're only silencing the down beat of the beat two and beat four. So we have one end silence and three end silence and. So if you observe that um, beat two and um, beat four were silenced, so we have. The next one now we are going to silence beat two and beat three so that means we're going to play beat one beat one end beat two silence beat two end will be played beat three silence beat three end will be played beat four and beat um, four end will be played so we have a So you get it just now. So you can um, decide to switch this end off or switch that bit off, switch that bit off, and then um, you can um, come up with different rhythm. But make sure that um, your hand is swinging. Even the notes that you're not playing, don't let anything interrupt the down, up, down, up, down, up. 
Alright, so we're going to have one more example here. This is an eight note strumming with some um, different, you know, regrouped in a very unique way. So this is what we did. One, silence, two, and silence, and four, silence. So strike the one, you strum the one, then you silence the one end, the end of the one, then you strike the two and strike the two end, right, the end of the two, then you silence the three, then you strike the three end, right, I mean the end of the three. From one, silence, strum, two, end, strum, three, silence, end, then strum, four, then end, silence, so. Well, the beautiful thing is your right hand keeps going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and so some interesting things are going on here for the downbeat each time i'm playing downbeat you necessarily for some of the strong patterns you necessarily don't have to play everything like you know sometimes for the downbeat, I just for the C, we're holding C major. I look for the bassy note, and then for the C major, the bassy note here is string five and string four. So we as opposed to striking everything. So the down becomes just do and me. So even when I'm doing the up strum, the up strum, I don't really bother to pick everything. I just simply um, pick the string one, two, three. So that's what I'm using for this drum. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Each time I'm playing it down. I'm just um, picking the bass in the town. Down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. All right, guitarists, here for you is, is a solid foundation upon which every guitarist I want to understand um, strumming can really thrive. Yes, this is not where it ends. We get to creating different eight note strumming patterns for um, you know different songs and also adding techniques to these are uh, eight note strumming and we took it um, way further getting into 16 note strumming how to make a strum groovy strumming patterns for for different songs and um, you know adding um, percussions to your strumming how to create your own strumming making it really groovy <laughs> on my online guitar learning platform www.spicyguitaracademy it's almost a two hour course all put together strumming one and strumming two it's almost a two hour course anyway guys if you have any question you can ask me see you in the